Hello everyone and welcome back to another Trainson World 2 video. In today's one we're going to be checking out the S-Barn Colm which is, has been included with the Trainson World 2 expansion pack. Uh, previously you could get the S-Barn services by owning Ryan Rot Austin but that was in the 422 which didn't have the correct PIS on it and there wasn't as many services as what you get now. Uh, big fans of the games will give us the key to show this off. But anyway let's get straight into it. Uh, let's uh, do a bit of that. I don't know, get that to forward, get the doors unlocked, and we get the marker lights one as well. And this is a Joe Burgess timetable, which if you haven't played Joe's stuff before, it means it's going to be busy. Uh, so there's a lot more going on. I mean, it's 5.30 in the morning at the moment, so it might be slightly quieter, but it's still fairly busy. And we're going to be taking this over to Colne Ehrenfeld, uh, which if you want to see more, uh, do check out the streams where we've done the full full shebang uh, yeah we're heading over there cool let's say Aaron Feld on the front as well that says Nitro Steigen at the moment let's have a look uh, PIS uh, we'll try and change that to Aaron Feld which has got the right ones on it now there we go enter so it's different from the Munich to Augsburg one you've also got s barn Köln there and the little shield there on the side which is quite cool with, uh, what's that a horse yeah a horse yeah, that would be a horse. Let's get the door shut. And also, before we do get going, here is a video of all of the S Barn services you get on the route. You also get three scenarios and two journey chapters. So let's have a look at that now. Well, there you go, that is all the services you get. Quite a bit, I think it was 100 and 143 or something in total, something like that. Anyway, let's get going. Let's make our way out of Khan Hansarin. Yeah, that was 143, but yeah, a fair few. Over 100. Let's uh, unrelease ourselves. There we go, so Khan Hansarin at 5.31, so we might be late. But we have been admiring the train and uh, taking a look at the services available. There's a 112 there. Which also, as part of the new uh, new update, you also get, uh, well, there's, more, there's still the layers on the route, which add plenty more services. Um, there's even a 101, DBL 101 service as well. And if you're on Hubstrecker or Ryan Rue, you'll get the 425 services, which adds a fair few in as well. So it's fairly busy. And I think at the moment we should have all of the uh, layers on. So even better. Depots all fill up as well with trains. But yeah, this is one of the early morning services, which is. Or, I don't know how you pronounce that, or to Colne Ehrenfeld. So I think yeah, there's one's late night, early morning services which go from Orr to Ehrenfeld. Here we are, let's get the doors open. Just seems we did actually arrive on time. You don't have to wait long at these ones. I get the doors shut. And it is Colne Ehrenfeld next. So we get up and over, which gives you a great view of Colne. Let's get going. Yeah, what's everyone's thoughts on the expansion pack so far? You can pick it up for eight ninety nine, which is very cheap uh, for a DLC. Maybe if you don't want to get it now, maybe get it on sale, which will be even cheaper. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, uh, great DLC for what you get. Because if you don't own me to Augsburg or Clinchfield Railroad, you're pretty much getting two new trains: the SD forty and the four two three. It's not bad at all. So I'm getting that up. One for a 70 there. Which will be if you're going right, but I still acknowledge it. Pretty much acknowledge everything yellow. That's the best thing you can do. So again, that I said it would be about 10 minutes this service. I'm guessing, yeah, we have to go. We are going to have to wait for something. I was thinking it's only been about five minutes and we've only. and we're almost there. 
does look like we are going to come to a stop. Unless that is for the signal at the end of the platform, maybe. Okay, another try. There's another 423 down there. So there's much more going on to what there was before. Yeah, there's another one over there. It's a 425 over there. Brilliant. Chacon is quite a hive of activity. Yeah, we're going up and over, which gives you a great view of uh, the surrounding area. I mean, look at this. You can see the station over there, all around there. It's great. Right, so... What were we waiting for? I'm guessing the red must be down there, then. Yeah, I think the red's down there. Or has that got yellow on it as well? Well, we'll take it slow. We don't want to screw up. I think it's just yellow again. So it must be, yeah, it might just be for the uh, end of the platform at Colin Ehrenfeld then. Okay. Uh, let's see for... Yeah, by the looks of things, it must be. Well, the yellow, well, the white dot does mean that the main signal is closer than it usually would be. So we might get stopped before the end of the platform. Might be a red. Surely, surely there's another signal before it. Or maybe not. Well, I mean, if that is the case, then yeah, we'll be straight into Colne Ehrenfeld. Which I'm guessing this one will probably go back to Colne after. Yeah, it must be the end of the platform. As we come into Colne Ehrenfeld. Cool. Which is a, well, I suppose an interchange station just outside of the main one. Has anyone been on this route in real life? I think this is a, oh, hello, we're coming across this one, a cross border one into uh, Belgium. Far. That's quite cool coming across there. So I'm guessing this here must go back out straight away to Köln at something, something, something. We'll have a proper look. This goes back out at 44. So you get about 9 minutes here, then back to Colm. So I guess it shuttles backwards and forth, then starts going over towards Sindorf and Harem. It's quite good, the S-Bahn timetable, because it does shuttle between Colne and Sindorf, Harem, those sort of places. This one's back out. Not that one. Uh, there's another one, I think. Well, maybe that's the one after the 551. 44, this one's back out. There we go. That's a nice little short service there. In fact, let's take a look at the PIS just so we can sort of gauge how many services you get. If I sit back down there, it should say. No? It doesn't say when it's going back out. Let's have a look. There's many more services on here now. So. Yeah, there's the S-Bahn one there. You've got this one on here, that's Durham, so that'll be an S-Bahn service at 5.44. So the same time that one, someone comes in there. If we go over to this platform, how do you get across the other ones? I know, this is the only other one. I thought it was more platforms. Um, well, that one's late. 5.41 to Cone. Oh, so the ices don't stop here. So I guess that would be a regional express on this side then. Regional express 8, so that's 5.54, 603, 6.16. So there's much more going on now. Uh, at, well, here yeah, on, on the route. Cool. Well, I think that does conclude today's video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Now, I did a little look at the new Cone S-Barn. Uh, do take a look at the streams if you do want to see a little bit more. Uh, big thanks to Dubstep Games for giving us the key to show it off. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store, and also to the channel survey we are doing, set up by Full Floor, so uh, be sure to check that out as well. Uh, but apart from that, thanks for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.